it's not just about protecting your rights. It's definitely about that. But it's not just about that. I mean, the way the founding fathers saw it was that this is part of a culture, a founding culture of a nation, a culture in which we settle our questions right. through free speech and open debate, because that's what we as a nation and as citizens of this nation are committed to. That's something that you undermine, even if it isn't the government that does it, you know, so-called big tech censorship, though I don't call it that because that largely is government tech censorship now right. anyway. But the cultural infringements on free speech, that's what we lose, is even if it's not a technical First Amendment violation, it runs afoul of the principle, the culture that's codified in that First Amendment. And I think that that's part of how, even if you're Stanford University and you're not technically the government, you accept government funds, but <laughs> you're technically not the government, even if you put the federal funding piece of it to one side, you're still destroying the essence of what the country is and what's codified in that First Amendment. I think that's what people miss sometimes. That's exactly right.